Good day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Daily currency levels for Monday, May the 11th, British pound crosses. Looking at the calendar for the week of major news releases, nothing uh, on the schedule for the rest of today, on Monday, but tomorrow we have uh, 8.30 a.m. New York Eastern Standard Time. We have U.S. CPI and core CPI, and uh, then nothing again until Wednesday, evening New York Eastern Standard Time. We have the uh, New Zealand dollar official cash rate uh, and the RBNZ rate statement, monetary policy statement. So today looking, uh, adding uh, one little extra thing into our equation this week with the daily charts. I've had a few traders ask me, I do look at the daily charts, so we'll look at those as well. We're looking at the pound Aussie. If we blow this up a little bit, actually bring that back in, we can see that the market uh, just take that measuring tool off. Basically, the market uh, last week came down at the beginning of the month after a one, two, three up at the close of the month on Monday, dropping down slightly, taking out the low of the high bull candle and consolidating Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then dropping the 250 pips on Thursday. And then Friday's payrolls, we were around the one nine triple zero level. And so now we've had a stop hunt on that last bull run up at the end of the month. This market uh, has the potential to con continue that move down for a measured move. Uh, one full expansion takes us around to that 8400 level, 8410. Now again, it all depends on how it handles this triple zero level. Obviously, there is space for that market to fall. We have some stops in that box down through that 250 pip range when we look at our four hour again looking at last week we saw the market drop down and consolidate into friday's close we have stops above the friday high at 90.67 and above the weekly lows down below the 89.44 area so currently we're underneath of that nine triple zero the market has given an engulfment in that second four hour window and when we go to our 15 minute chart, we can see that we are still inside of Friday's US session highs and lows. That market, the market initially this morning in Asia came down to hit the stops, taking out the swing lows before going into consolidation. I'll just fix that. Then staying sideways, and now we have a possible, uh, we've had one push, two pushes, Possibly a one, two, three heading into the Europe London Open. Uh, this market, if it was to break down through that 89.50 level, taking out Friday's lows, possibly could continue that move down through that lower 50, next 50 pip box. If we were to move back up towards the Asian breakout, depending on how the market handles that 19000 level again, uh, we could retest the highs if it was to break through and pull back and continue or this market may push up pull back go sideways and retest the 89.50 again uh, looking at that daily uh, there is room for this market to move down if it was to come back and make an engulfment pattern this market possibly could come back to stop on traders who were short on uh, the break of wednesday's lows up next we have our pound canadian and again, looking at the daily chart, the market very similar. We had one push, two push, three pushes into the end of the month, pinning the highs, having an engulfment pattern on Monday. Traders uh, who were short the pound Canadian had moved down before it pulled back towards the 7,500 level and then dropping on Thursday, going into an inside bar pattern on Friday after payrolls. And again, we have stops below Thursday's lows currently above that 7250 level if this market was to trade through that low there is room for that market to move back down towards the 7000 area when we look at the 4 hour we can see that the market's gone into consolidation uh, just above that 7250 there are stops below friday's low as well as the low from thursday and again above friday's high and the breakout from wednesday's session so currently trading sideways into consolidation, we're above the 7250. That 7250 is a major quarterly level on the daily as well. So again, depending on how this market handles 
the low of the day. We may have a peak formation in place. We are still inside of Friday's range. And you'll notice that Friday traded in a 100 pip box. The median price of that was the 72, sorry, the 7300 level. The market may come back and retest that one more time. Stop stopping, uh, hitting stops on traders who are short on that last swing low. But again, we may have a peak formation in place for this session. So again, this market, if it was to break down and test those lows from Friday and the low of the day, we may head back down towards Thursday's low to test that lower 50 pip box. Again, we may have one more push up before that move down. If the market was to break above the 7300 level, we could retest the highs of the day and obviously go back to retest Friday's shorts from the US session. Up next, we have the pound Swiss. And again, similar, the pound Swiss has held above that one 2.2000 level. So we had one push, two push, third push last week after coming off of that um, reversal off the bottom uh, that's holding above the triple zeros. We have stops below the low of last week and we have stops above the high of the month from last month. When we look at our four hour chart, we can see that markets stayed in that consolidated range between the swing highs at 2090 and the pin low down at 1985. Currently we are sideways. This market hasn't really given us a clear direction on a, on a medium time frame. Looking at our 15 minute chart, we can see that we're inside of Friday's high and low. The market has pushed up above one push, two pushes. It's just stopped traders out who were long on that second leg. And again, uh, testing 2050 as we head into the Europe open at the end of Asia. So depending if this market was to come back and retest the highs of the day, we could have another uh, test of the low through 70, uh, sorry, 2050. Uh, but again, if we broke through 2050, we may have a breakout pullback for a continuation towards the low of the day and the low of Friday and possibly even retest the longs off of Thursday's U.S. session low. Next up, we have the pound yen. Again, looking at our daily, we had one push, two push, three pushes into the month before the new month started. And we had a move down last week, stopping out traders who were long at the, the end of April. But now we also have a one, two, three back up, possibly stop hunting traders who were short off the inside bar at the first of the month. And we're at that critical 3250 level on the daily chart. So again, if this market was to, uh, Come off 3250, we could retest the lows and possibly retest somewhere below that 130, sorry, 13100 level. Uh, if we're to break above that 3250 and hold, we could retest the highs of, of last month, which is in that just above that upper 250 pip box. When we go to our four hour chart, we can see this market last week drop below in that lower. 250 pip box, stopping out the previous week's lows and retesting swing lows from back in March before pulling back and popping above that 3250 level. So currently there are stops below the low of last week. We have stops below the low of this week from this morning session. I'll blow this up a bit. And currently sideways above the 3250 level. When we look at our 15 minute chart, again, we can see that market trended on Friday through payrolls. We broke through Thursday's highs before pulling back, stop hunting traders who were long this morning in the opening gap. That market has pushed to new highs through Friday's US session highs. Hit it a second time before pulling back and again, currently testing Friday's high. If this market was to drop down, we do have stops below the swing lows heading into the open of the Asian session down below that 3250. But if we were to push higher above 3300, there are stops above for that continuation of that move up top. Again, this next hour will sort of give us some insight if the market was to break down, break lower for the pullback and continuation down, or possibly hold that level and then retest the highs of the day.
Pound New Zealand, again looking at our daily, that breakout from that upper boundary after three pushes, as one full expansion taking us down towards that one point, sorry, two point uh, zero 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 level, which is a, obviously a major round number level. We've broken below the 250 level box after breaking out on Thursday on a 123, currently pulling back and retesting that level where the low of last month was. Again, this 250 level could end up being a uh, an area for a continuation of that move down or possibly pop back and hold that level for a pushback to stop hunt traders who were short from that breakout on Thursday. Again, looking at our four hour chart, the market has gone into consolidation underneath of that two four, sorry, 250 level. There are stops below of this morning's low and of the swing high from Friday. We're in a 100 pip box, roughly 120 pip box. And currently going sideways. When we look at our 15 minute chart, we are, you can see we're still inside of Friday's high and low. We're trading on that inside 50 pip box. One push up, two pushes up. Market may be making a third push, putting heat on traders who were short in Asia. If it was to take out the high of the day, we could retest Friday's high. If this market was to just push into the numbers and turn off a 3250, we could retest the lows of today as well as the lows of Friday for the move back down into that lower 50 pip box. Currently retesting the highs. And lastly, we have our pound USD. Again, still in that upper 50 pip box, depending on how we handle the 2400 level in the Europe London Open. We'll give some insight if we break through and pull back or if we find support at that level to retest the highs of the day. So hopefully you got some value from today's video traders. Starting the week off with a little simple five rules of trading. Number one, make peace with your losses so they won't disturb your future. Jesse Livermore always said uh, a, a loss never bothered him. As soon as he got rid of it, it was off his plate. He moved on to the next trade, but the ones that he held on to interfered with his ability to clear, think clearly and um, make successful trades going forward. Number two, what other people think of your trading is none of your business. <laughs> Number three, don't compare your, your trades to others. And this is really important. Comparison is the thief of joy. Very powerful. Focus on what you need to do and only what you need to do. Number four, the only person in charge of your success is you. You're the person who needs to be able to execute your trading plan flawlessly, regardless of back testing, paper trading, live trading results, your last trade, none of that matters. What matters is what's happening today, here, and now. And number five, stop thinking so much. Sometimes you just need to take action. Very powerful. So hopefully you got some value out of today's video traders. And I appreciate your feedback on uh, the levels and how we can communicate that better. The big picture, stay on the outside. Wait for the stops to get hit. Watch how the market trades at those levels. It's not just about blindly jumping in. And specifically, in that 12 candle window, the timings are very powerful. Have a great trading week, and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.